Just another ordinary day. A day filled with fundamental questions. How do we want to shape our environment? What about our cities and their infrastructure? What about the resources to support them? Where's our energy coming from? We need long-term solutions. We were getting nowhere. But it turned out to be a day of discovery. The good old railroad. But old ways of thinking are a fast track to nowhere. OK, so they're modern and obviously fast. It should really be called the steel road. It's certainly robust. But mobility is an individual thing. Like cars, for example. They're also made of steel. But aren't they too heavy? Let's see. Hmm, so many different types and strengths. So steel is not just steel. That makes a difference. But no matter how sophisticated they've become, they still need energy. As for energy, we mustn't merely conserve it, we also need to generate it too. We have to plan a sustainable future. But how? A wind turbine? Yes, it's also made of steel, but where does it come from? Steel is recyclable, infinitely, every last kilo. Are even power generators made of steel? If you can use it to generate electricity, the energy transition is based on steel. But what about modern power stations? Really? That efficient? When you think about it, steel is almost everywhere. It's incredibly versatile. And durable. Traditional, yet high-tech. Certainly, our industry is maintained by a solid network. Finding the shortest paths is essential, especially when you export more technology than anyone else in the world. Do we want to give up this expertise and import steel when our steel performs so well? Any old iron? On the contrary, the future begins with steel.